It was quite the session opener on Parliament Hill. Have a look. After careful and deliberate consideration, I must withdraw from the government benches to take my seat among the ranks of my Conservative colleagues and join That's Her Majesty. Ontario Liberal MP Leona Alislev, who represents the riding of Aurora Oak Ridge's Richmond Hill, crossing the floor yesterday to join the Conservatives on the very first day back after summer break. This marked the first such loss Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has faced since assuming control of the party back in 2014. Ms. Alislev is joining us this morning from Ottawa along with Conservative Party leader Andrew Scheer. Good to have you both with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, my first question is for you, Ms. Alislev. Uh, I want to show our viewers, first of all, some of the comments you made yesterday in giving your reasons why you decided to cross the floor. Ask the question, Am I doing everything I can to serve my country and work for real change for Canadians? And the answer is no. The citizens of my... So if you were not able to bring about the change you wanted within the Liberal Party, uh, what makes you think a seat with the Tories will be any different? Well, it's all about understanding the things that really matter. And when you're looking at the, the things facing the nation, we're at a time of unprecedented global instability where we're really facing some challenges both at home and abroad. And so I had the opportunity to understand whether or not the Conservative Party was as focused on those fundamental challenges as I were. And I'm honoured to say that working with that the leader of the Conservative Party, Andrew Scheer, and of course the other team members, that they are as focused on the things I think we need to do for this country. Uh, I'm interested what you've heard from your constituents and for people watching across the country, it's important to note you only won your seat in this last election by a thousand votes over the Conservative MP. So what have your constituents had to say to you since yesterday? Well, that's an interesting question because, in actual fact, um, I meet them, uh, and this is not a decision I arrived at uh, quickly. Uh, I was, I, over the summer, I met with them in the grocery store, on the street, and they were quite clear that they're not happy with the things that are going on. They wanted tax reform, comprehensive tax reform. They want a comprehensive foreign policy where we're acting the way that we say we're going to act on the world stage. And they are concerned about the, the security of the world and Canada's contribution to that defence and security. I'm sure those are a concern, but are they happy with your decision to cross over? They have given me the indication that uh, there's always going to be people that support uh, a party and there's always going to be people that, uh, that don't support, but the support has been overwhelmingly positive from the constituents in my riding, and I'm very grateful for it. Uh, Mr. Shear, you know, it came out yesterday that you guys have been talking for a few weeks about this. Are you speaking with any other MPs from other parties? You know, I, uh, I speak to people all the time, all over the country, uh, people who voted Liberal in the last election, sometimes who even uh, worked on Liberal campaigns. And the indication from many, many of those people uh, are that uh, they will be supporting us in 2019. There is a real sense of dissatisfaction. Uh, so we have lots of conversations with lots of people uh, who, who either used to vote Liberal or used to work on Liberal campaigns, and, and we are welcoming uh, many, many of them to, to our camp uh, on a regular basis. Voters changing their minds of who they vote for is one thing, but for an elected official to change their mind and cross the floor is quite another. So are you in talks with any other members of Parliament about possibly coming over to join your team? I, 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 would, I, would, I would never uh, you know, disclose any uh, type of uh, conversation like that. Uh, in this type of dynamic, it's essential that there is uh, trust and confidentiality. And, and this is never uh, done in a, in a way where it's you know, kind of uh, sit down and make a plan. It really is conversations about priorities, shared values, uh, finding an indication about where our party is, is, is going to be be focusing on in the next year and then into uh, th throughout the campaign and beyond. So uh, I won't go into any more, you know, don't, don't want to go down that road, but just to say that on a regular basis we hear from many, many people uh, who voted Liberal in 2015 and now are definitely voting Conservative in 2019. Uh, you know, last year we heard you very publicly state that Canada would present a united front when we went to trade talks, that you would be supporting the Trudeau government as they entered into trade talks. Uh, I get a sense that that grace period may be over. Well, look, uh, when we go down to Washington, when Conservative MPs are meeting with our U.S. counterparts, we absolutely uh, present that united front. We don't want to uh, put the government in a situation where uh, the, you know, they have 
extra difficulties because of, pub uh, of public criticism in the United States. But that being said, it's our job, it's our constitutional responsibility to hold this government to account and to ask the questions. How did Justin Trudeau find himself on the sidelines watching Mexico and the U.S. come to an agreement? Why has this government made the decisions that have weakened our negotiating position by raising taxes, driving out foreign investment? Uh, th that's our job to do that, and we'll always do that to serve Canadians. Uh, Ms. Alisov, you just came from you know, Team Liberal. Do you think they're going to be able to get the job done and, and to sign a deal that's good for Canada? Well, the reports certainly are troubling, but as Canadians, we all want the best deal for Canada. And do you think that the Liberals will be able to get the job done? It's about getting the right deal for Canada. All right, uh, Mr. Shear, we were taking a look at polls as recently as last week that said your party is trailing behind the Liberals. Uh, Tories at just over 32%, Liberals sitting at 39%. Uh, Do you think Ms. Alisa's cl uh, crossing could motivate others to perhaps follow? Uh, Leona's decision has sent uh, a great signal, and that is that the Conservative Party uh, is, has a home, has a place for all those Canadians who want to see Canada stand tall on the world stage, who want a comprehensive economic policy that will speak to the challenges that are facing our uh, country over the next few years. So absolutely, uh, it's going to send a great signal. Uh, you know, polls go up and down, they, they fluctuate given what's going on uh, here in Ottawa when the House is sitting versus not sitting. All I can tell you is that the feedback on the ground is very, very positive. When I go to uh, seats that we're hoping to win back, that we're spending a lot of uh, time and energy on, the, the response is overwhelming. We've got great candidates coming forward in every province, and I'm very optimistic. So I don't look at the week-by-week the -week polling. I, I look at the overall trends and, and the sense that I get when I meet people as I travel in my very extensive travel schedule. And if I could just add, a political party is only made up of the people who are in it at the time and what the country needs at the time. And we're very fortunate that at this time, the Conservative Party are the people that this country needs to take us forward. We will have to leave it there. Uh, party leader Andrew Scheer and Leona Alislev, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you very much. Good to speak with you both.